going on, everybody? Andrew here, and we and I'm here with the boys who it's still me and a pain in my butt. Shoot you! <sighs> and since we're in Witch Month, I think today's top five should be special. It's gonna be witch themed, so this is gonna be the top five witches. Now they can be either good or bad during. And these are fictional witches, guys. So, uh, if your favorite witch does not make it to the countdowns, yes. And here's my rules. Only one witch per franchise. So, let's begin with the Harry Potter witch. Number five! Number five goes to Bellatrix Lestrange. Now, I know many people want, probably want Hermione on the list, but... I mean... This dark witch... Oh boy, she's kind of scary. And she managed to pulsate all that dark magic. Heck, she worked with Voldemort, for crying out loud. And that guy is... Uh, it's creepy! I mean, Hermione may be book smart, but, uh... She is a uh, muggle-born, but... I really want to put Hermione on the list, but... In a fight between her and Bell Bellatrix? Bellatrix will come out top. Sorry, Hermione fans. Uh, I... Sorry. Number four! Number four goes to Wendy from the Casper series. Now, whether it be the cartoon or the movie featuring a young Hilary Duff, I haven't seen the film in a while, so don't ask me to review it, this witch knows how to be friendly, and Casper wants to be a friendly ghost, so can there be a relationship between these two? I feel so evil at times. You sure do. Shut up. <sighs> All right, let's get to that, uh, shall we? Number three. Number three goes to Hilda from the Sabrina the Teenage Witch series. Now people may choose Sabrina, but Hilda is one of the greatest. Uh, like ants. I, I wish I could have had her as an ant, but. But with all, but she is kind of a bit loopy, I think. I think it's that one, or uh, I, I don't remember which one, but whichever one, she could be a great aunt. You have the hot for her! Shut up! <sighs> Let's continue, shall we? Number two! Number two goes to Mad Mad Madam Mim from the Sword in the Stone. Now, what can I say about Madame Mim that hasn't been said before? She's like a person who had too much sugar in her diet, drank too much coffee, and a bit loco. Mad Madame Mim, though only appeared briefly in the movie, she when she did, she managed to show what's working with it. Now, for some honorable mention before number one. And, uh, the honorable mention goes to the Sanderson sisters from Hocus Pocus. Now, the reason why I chose them, so three of them, is because, well, I can't choose which one was the best, but, yeah. I can't choose between all the Sanderson sisters because they're all equally evil, all with the same goal. So, I'm not sure how to do that. So, number one! Number one goes to the wood carver from Brave. Now, if you ever wanted, like, a security system, but you can't afford it, try to learn something from that witch. She claims to be a wood carver when Merida visits, but when she... When she takes up the wood carver, a lot of things come at her. Now that's what security system I wish I had for intruders coming into my house. Things floating in the air are about to kill the intruder unless they back out. Now that just seems awesome. Who agrees with me? Huh? Oh, well, guys, better go. Till then, guys. See ya. And also, what's your name? It's Stan Tepic. Oh, thanks, Stan. See ya.